channel one and our signal light on the Rio. And we are hearing something. Obviously everything worked the way it did. There's one thing you need to remember to do and I'll show you that now. And if we look at the Zoom machine, we can clearly see that the music is jumping in the meter. Remember to like and subscribe. How's it going? So we have covered other devices being transmitters and the TF1 being the receiver. So something else transmits and we can patch the card slot into a channel and receive that Dante data that way. Well, the, the card on here, the NY64 has 64 channels of output too. But there's a couple things we need to go over in order for that to work. First of all, on the console, there's no way to actually patch those outputs. So let's dive into it. So once again, everything for the purposes of a TF1 and the TF1 being the transmitter and something else being the receiver needs to be done in Dante controller. In this case, the TF1 is the transmitter. Now I wanna show you guys, there is no way to patch the outputs to anything Dante related on the console and that is because they are just defaulted. So there's 64 outputs. That's because all 16 channels, I'm sorry, all 32 channels have direct outs. So you could capture those stems and then all of the auxes, the four matrix and your stereo buses all have outputs here and they need to be patched. So for this first use case, let's show sending a Dante flow out of an aux, aux one, two, and three, or just aux one for this case, out of an actual Rio, not a TO, an RUIO 16. So I'm going to patch aux one to output one of a Rio. In this case, I've patched aux one, two, three, four, all the way through eight, to outputs one through eight on a Rio. But there's one thing you need to remember to do, and I'll show you that now. So on the Rio, dip switch five is 88HR. This switch has to be down when you're using cards in order for it to receive that data. So 88, 88H, 88HR mode is on. I've patched it there and it's literally that simple. I have channel one and two going to aux one and two and then aux one and two is feeding Rio outputs one and two, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just using one and it's feeding that Fostex. So if I did everything right, when I turn channel one on, you should hear something. Channel one and our signal light on the Rio and we are hearing something. Obviously everything worked the way it did. Now it doesn't have to be a Rio, it can be anything. What if you have Zoom in another room and we need to be able to capture that Zoom stream or send to a Zoom stream, right? So we're gonna kill this music and now I'm going to send some mics on stage and we're gonna send that into Zoom. Once again, we're gonna jump into Dante Controller. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch aux one and two to a AVO. And this is a USB AVIO, which is on a computer. I have patched aux one and two, and they are going to come out to a computer. And let's go check that. Let me shut that up, this off so it's not distracting. Channels one and two are making sound, and it should. So let's take a look at the other computer and make sure everything's working. And if we look at the Zoom machine, we can clearly see that the music is jumping in the meter. And that's it. Just a couple more considerations I want you guys to be aware of as I walk and talk. So any transmit and any receiver can work together within the Dante ecosystem. For the TF series, everything on the output end of it has to be patched within the in Dante controller. There's no on console patching for that. If you use a Rio, you need to have 88 HR uh, dip switch five flipped in order for these outputs to push the audio. Everything else is just as simple as patching a Dante controller. And that's why it's called an NY64 card because there's a dedicated output Dante flow 
for every single channel and every single aux, the matrix and the stereo. So that's it. Hope it was helpful. Have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe.